Welcome to the Black Lion Podcast. We are your hosts, Lex and Don. Today we have a special guest. Guest, can you please introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Sierra. And Sierra, what own services does your business provide? So I am part of a company called Total Life Changes. I'm sure for TLC may have heard of it, may have not heard of it, um, but we provide health and wellness. Um, we provide products. Uh, we provide personal development and we provide a community and individuals that come together to collaborate and pretty much it's like a, it's like a big family. It's like a big family. How long have you been doing the business? Um, I've been doing the business since October of 2019. Late October 2019. What made you get involved in like changing your lifestyle over to a more healthier lifestyle? Um, so I've always been a pretty, I would say pretty healthy person um, for the last about four years when I changed my diet, my diet was pretty much like, you know, I ate whatever, didn't care what I had. <laughs> I just ate for comfort. Um, so what made me change my nutrition aspect of my lifestyle was my younger sister, whose name is very similar to mine's. Her name is Tiara. She's a vegan. I'm not a vegan. However, I am pescatarian. Um, technically, I still eat some dairy and I still eat uh, fish products, but she is who motivated me, inspired me to change my ways of eating. Um, I ate a lot of processed, I ate a lot of fast food, and I saw how it was making my body feel, and as well as I wasn't as fit then. However, I was been the sort of the petite girl, but I was the petite girl with a stomach. So I would say um, when I switched over to being, I tried the vegan veganism out for 30 days. I felt that it was too hard for me at that time. So I went back to eating fish only. Um, the benefits of that is basically I felt more energetic. Um, I felt lighter. I felt more healthier overall. The sister you you pertain to, she just had a birthday recently, right? Yes, her birthday was March twelfth, okay. and then I just had another. Uh, they, I actually have two sisters with birthdays a week apart, and the other one is March nineteenth. My oldest sister. I know you. I saw you post on one of your yeah. sisters. Um, so I post them all the time. I'm a real family oriented person, so I always post my family. <laughs> so besides you get being healthy over overall from from the time you started up until now, what progress have you seen besides more energy? More energy. Um, I would say I would say definitely the shrimp, like mentally, like feeling as though that I can kind of conquer and attack different tasks because like working out for me, even though it's an exercise for most people, it's like therapeutic as well for me. And at first it wasn't because I'm like, oh, I hate working out. But then like if I go a certain amount of days without working out, I really feel really bad. Like it put me in depression mode because I'm so used to doing it and like moving at least 30 minutes a day, but physical mastery and mental mastery kind of go together. And a lot of successful people work out. So in total life changes, all of us really, most of the community works out together. We work out live, we work out through Zoom, we work out at events. We just pretty much, you know, we're like big advocators for um, the overall lifestyle of exercise and nutrition. It's just the products and the compensation plan is a plus, but we 
always, you know, walking people to work out with us. Um, I do my own thing or I might work out with other trainers too. A lot of people like working out with me. Um, they just feel like I got more of a, um, a chair spirit and I like, cha- I like the challenge. I like to challenge myself and push myself. So I don't really slack on workout routines that's given to me, even though sometimes I want to give up. But, you know, working out can be fun at the same time. And it don't have to be always a killer workout where it's like exhausting and you don't want to do it the next day. But once you get in a routine, you start to get become more, it starts to become more easier and you start to be able to develop more strength to get through the workout. Become a part of your life. Mm-hmm. Like my fast stuff I told you about like a few mm-hmm. months ago. Mm-hmm. I said, like I told you about my fasting, my water oh, fasting. Fasting, yes. Yeah, How's that been going for you? I gotta redo it again, just because <laughs> I have a lot of a lot of health conditions that I deal with at all at once. So yeah, I get hit with multiple things. I can fix one thing, then something else happens. So it'd be. Yeah, it's 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 hard. I I mean, fasting for me is hard because I've always been scheduled to eat in a certain way. So once I skip breakfast, it's like you know I start to feel that that sugar kind of like dropping for me, and I'm like, okay, I, it's time for me to like fuel my body with something because you know food converts to energy. So you know you just it's it's just something like once you get over that kind of intermittent fasting state, you can kind of get more adjusted to it and not eating at certain times, but it's not for me. But uh, I'm definitely a three meal a day to to at least two meals a day person. I just can't see myself fasting. But I mean, anything that you put in your mind, I feel like you can do. So, you know, kudos to you for trying to attack that fasting lifestyle uh, with just water, but definitely I would need some fruits, vegetables, or something. <laughs> I get a little cranky when I don't eat. Well, they say that fasting, you go through a lot of mental detox. So, yeah. they say you find, you, they say you find yourself. Too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I know a lot of people that, that that do fasting a lot of, you know Muslims go through Ramadan where they fast all day and they eat when the sun go down you know that that to them brings them more closer to Allah and stuff like that so I feel like even with me being, being like Baptist Christian we we still are able to fast too we might not fast like a Muslim but we are still able to fast too it's just we don't do it as long as they do unless people want to go on like a two three day fast or how or fruit or veggies or just all water like you was doing um but I never really tried it unless I had to be like get prepared for like procedure where you had to like not drink nothing or eat nothing by mouth for like eight to twelve hours that's the only time I could say I fasted like and that's involuntarily <laughs> <laughs> You be her. Uh, it won't kill you. Yeah, I'm sure you. you I'm sure you could, was going through the the detoxing. Yeah. I don't know what's going on in my body currently, though. So, been having a rough time. We saw sweating, excessive sweating, and mm-hmm. I've been having on. Um, some crazy hallucinations, I would say. Oh, you was having hallucinations. Not from not not because of the fasting. Oh. Just, just something going on with my stomach and stuff. Like it. Oh. Okay. Been eating vegan food, been trying to trying to go back and forth just to see what's wrong with like what is it the food or what whatever it may be. Just my stomach been turning a lot lately. So I don't know what's going on. Well, what vegan food did you try? Not try. It's food I've been like 
like before oh. the evil was happening, I was eating the vegan food with no problem. But we okay. get vegan food from different places, though. Okay. Like we cook our own vegan food. We don't like buy food from restaurants. So. Okay. Yeah, that can be become expensive. You know, you have their different type of vegans. You have your vegans that eat out a lot, like from different vegan fast foods, and that's not too healthy either. Because that's just like eating fast food, like you know, going to McDonald's and stuff. Yes, it's a little bit nutritious and better because it's probably like mushrooms and soybeans and stuff like that that they make it out of but it's all most of it's fried sauce so this it's not home cooked so it's still technically fast food category but um it, it's okay to have like you know cheat meal one or two days out the week but for the most part I try to um meal prep I try to meal prep all my meals um when I'm off from work because I still do very much work a nine to five. Um, but my shifts are longer than nine to five. I work for 12 hour shifts at the hospital. And basically, you know, I always prep my lunch depending on if I'm there two days, three days or whatever, because I know I need that. I need that discipline. I need that routine. Because if not, I'll just be buying food at work or I'll be ordering in like the rest of my crew, my work crew. What? I forgot what I was about to ask you. Do you have, like, on hand, do you have any of your products with you? Um, yes, I do. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. So I got this product here, which is called the Nutriverse. This product is one of the first products that TLC started with. Um, TLC, actually, they've been around for about 20 years. It's not a new company. It's just a lot of people haven't heard of it or don't know about it. And basically, this is like their number one selling, one of their number one selling products, their top five. And it is a multi, a liquid multivitamin. Um, what it does is with it being liquid, when the body processes and break it down, you know, it doesn't have a longer, um, a longer rate as far as like absorbing the nutrients from the vitamins um, that's in here. So it's vitamins, fruits, and vegetables. It's 18 different fruits and vegetables. It's like 19 amino acids. And we need amino acids because that's what we get to help like digest our foods that we eat. Um, a lot of foods that we eat, sometimes they're still sitting in our stomach for a while and they're not really going through the digestive tract, um, you know, regular. So sometimes we get bloated. Sometimes we get um, constipated from certain foods or sometimes we just get those bloated bellies sometimes, depending on what we have. So basically this helps, you know, helps your digestive tract, helps your gut health, helps your metabolism, it not only um, helps your metabolism, but it boosts your immune system, right? So anything um, that helps boost your immune system, make you feel more healthier and livelier, it also gives you a little boost of energy too. So that's why they call it the Nutribers. And basically, um, it, basically, it a lot of different fruits and vegetables. I'm not going to go and bore through all of them. Um, but it has essentially everything that a gummy or tablet would have, plus the additional components of the fruits and vegetables. So that's why they say that um, one full cat full is equivalent to eating 10, um, 10 like small bowls of salad. The salad is very nutritious and good for you. However, you know, you have to eat a lot of salad for it to really count, right? And I mean, not drilling it with like, ranch or stuff and it become unhealthy but like an actual healthy lighter salad so that's basically what this product um does but 
like I said, it, it has a 99% absorption rate. So it's going to break down and you definitely want to feel the difference versus having like a gummy or a tablet that takes a longer process to break down your body. So that's why the people, a lot of people like myself um, and my family loves um, taking a Nutriverse. And it's good for any age range. Um, I would say I've seen people give it to even as little young as um, probably like three or four. But that's on the parent discretion. They say to make sure, consult with a doctor, make sure it's okay first. Because, you know, a lot of people can't have allergies to certain stuff that's in it. Um, but yeah, it's an amazing, amazing product. Um, I've been using it since I started. That's one of the first products I started with. And then I started also with the tea. Um, I started with the original blend, but I don't have that on me right now. Um, that's actually, um, put. This, I keep a lot of products in my trunk. So that's in my trunk. But I have here the raspberry IOSO tea. And this basically is a detox tea. It's going to it cleanse your intestines, right? It's going to cleanse your intestines. has no THC in it because when people hear CBD, it's short for cannabidiol, but people think that it's weed and it's not weed. It's not THC. It is CBD and they are cousins, but they are not, they don't have the same effects. So um, yes, this detoxes you, but it can also um, give you kind of a calm feeling. So, um, it helps with people like having anxiety or stress, um, at the same time as detoxing, cleansing your, your intestinal, um, track out. And also it, um, it helps curb your appetite. It helps curb your appetite as well for people that are trying to, um, stop those uh, wanting cravings to certain foods and stuff and it helps you it helps in the process of losing weight so people consider it a weight loss tea a lot of people sell it as a weight loss tea but it is simply a detox tea and it can help you lose some weight but it will only help you lose um backed up waist weight water weight and um help kind of curb your appetite so you don't eat certain foods so that's where the weight loss aspect will come in and if you're doing like you know your physical exercise with it and you're have you're on a certain diet of course you will see a big noticeable difference in your stomach or in your you know in your health overall because you'll you'll actually be losing some some good weight some good inches um off your waist so that is one of the other products that I started with. And basically it's real simple, like how you use it. This, this flavor is raspberry lemonade flavor. We have three flavors total. We have this one, we have lemon, and we also have um, the plain. The plain just has no flavor, but it's very simple how you use it. Um, I'm gonna take it and basically open this. Um, preferably I tell people, um, that's trying to detox or just start 30 minutes before a meal, or at least, um, I say 30 minutes before you go to bed. And some people like it cold. Some people like it hot. It's just your preference of how you use it. Um, I actually haven't drinking mine in probably a week now, but I do still tend to detox one to two times a week just to like help you know, get rid of um, some foods or them cheat day meals is when I um, mostly detox, get rid of them faster because I like to keep my stomach flat. You know what I mean? So um, <laughs> don't need no bulges or no bloatedness. And basically you would just pour it in uh, eight ounces, eight ounces of water. This is clearly not eight ounces, but I'm just going to pour it in here and then I'm going to add ice and more water over top of it. So, and then you kind of just would stir it up and then you just drink it. But there's a plethora of other products besides the Nutriverse and the teas. We have coffee, um, which would be like your um, detox coffee because it has Garcinia Cambogia in it. You have, um, we have like a CBD ointment. We have face facial sprays, CBD facial sprays for people that had, um, acne cystic acne helps to you know calm your skin 
Um, it helps to rejuvenate and give you more vibrant glow, glowy skin. Um, we have essential oils. Um, that's, you know, that put, you, put it in your candle warmers or you can put it in your diffuser, help the scent of your home, help relax you. Some people, some people use it in um, lotions. I've seen some people use it in their uh, cleaning, cleaning supplies. Um, we have like over probably 30 or 40 different um, scents. So it's definitely a widespread of array of products, like plethora of products. So it doesn't just stop at detox tea and multivitamins. How do um, your family, how, what do they normally, um, which ones do they like better? Which ones do they like best? Um, the tea and the Nutriburst, the tea and the Nutriburst. Um, my sister, likes the CBD ointment too. Um, especially she likes it mostly because it helps with pain and inflammation. So during might be a little too much information, but during like her cycle months, she liked to use it on her stomach region because it helps with her cramps. Um, so some people help with knee pain. Some people help with um, arm, you know, any any pain area, painful area, you know, you just rub a little bit on, rub it in real good, and it helps relieve the pain. Not saying that to get rid of it all together, but it helps relieve the pain. Well, better than they get some of the pain relieved than none at all. Right, right, I agree, I definitely agree. Because a lot of people take a lot of different pain medicines for pain, and it might not work after a while because your body get adjusted to it. Um, and then you also got the ones that people get hooked on, which is like the heavy narcotics. Narcotics, so you don't want to get addicted to painkillers. There's um, a coach of mine in TLC, and before he started, he was addicted to Percocet, and he once he joined TLC, it kind of changed his lifestyle, his diet, and you know, start practicing personal development every day and really start becoming um, more active with his, um, you know, creating good daily habits. He got off the Percocets for sure. He didn't need them anymore. It's more so a, a hindrance more than... Yeah, yep. Uh, exactly, exactly. But I understand, though. People use it for different things, but mm -hmm. pain is not one of the things that most people use them for. But to get high, to feel good, yeah. Not, I ain't talking about to get high. That's. Uh, I guess you call it a uh, erectile dysfunction. Uh, Okay. What's your business? Do you plan on um allowing your own? Um, you had kids, right? No, I don't have no kids. I have no. a lot of nieces, <laughs> nephews, godson. I don't have no kids. Well, your nephews and nieces and your godson. Yeah. Do you plan on helping them, well, like, getting them started in the business, meaning, like, helping them to, like, start a career? Um, to join TLC? Um, no, I can't do that because they're so young. You have to be at minimum 18 or over to be in TLC. Um, you know, can I use them as far as marketing and promoting? Yeah, they can take the products and they can promote for me, but, um, or help me with like certain setups and take pictures and, you know, my pop-up shop events and stuff like that, but they can't, they can't take every product and they also can't, um, they can't sell anything. <laughs> Oh, 
So for for like I, I guess weekly, what what is your routine like? Weekly, all right. So first thing when I wake up, I thank God. You know, I have my time with God, even if it's a quick minute. I just thank Him for being able to see another day because you know we can't we tend to take life for granted sometimes, and people die every day, every second, every minute. So I'm just grateful. Just practice practice you know, gratitude first thing in the morning and give thanks and prayers to him first, um, you know, and then from there, of course, you know, do the grooming. Uh, I have the TLC toothpaste. Um, if I don't use that, I use all natural toothpaste because there's a lot of chemicals in like Colgate and Crescent Autumn. So I use natural toothpaste, um, you know, for my teeth. Um what else? After that, I tend to try to listen to something motivational while I'm getting myself dressed, whether that being listening to like Mel Robbins or Steve Harvey or Grant Cardone or um, Robin Givens. Um, it's so many motiv motivational speakers out there. Um, there's endless, endless, I, I'll, most times I'm listening to my coach because she's on live Instagram, um, talking, uh, as well. And yeah, I tend to do that. And if I'm not heading to work for that day, I tend to hop on my computer. I check my back office. I check for certain orders that didn't go through or I'll check, um, and see what, I need to promote or market for that day um, or advertise. I reach out to certain customers that I gave samples to and I follow back up with them to see how they're doing with the sample that I gave them or if they want to try out more products or a different one. Um, you know, I, I'm very like, I'm very in tune, very in touch with my customer base because without them, I wouldn't be making no money. So I just like to keep a close relationship with them. You know, customer service is going to get you far and it's going to get you, the best customer service is going to get you returning customers. And they also give me referrals to other people. So even if they don't have the money to re-up or they don't need anything right away, they can always send me somebody else in their network. So it's a lot of networking I do daily. Um, and then after that, usually I just go into like my exercise. Um, I used to work out mostly during 10 a.m., but now it's a little bit later in the day because um, I find it's better for me to do it later in the day so I can get what I need to get done on a computer and business-wise first. And then I go to the gym and do uh, anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours, depending on what I have to do set up for later in the day. So... Yeah, a minimum hour I like to spend in the gym because I can look up and the time just go. So, um, but if I just need something quick or if I'm like certain day I'm working on just legs, I might take some breaks. So that might also push my time to an hour. So, but the breaks never longer than like two to three minutes in between sets. So um, if I'm working on full body, I might do a hit routine from home and basically that's just like a mix of cardio and kind of like shrimp training together cardio and shrimp training that's basically what hip hit is it focuses on a lot of different structures of parts of your body at one time um and it's a great way to get a good workout and a good sweat in and a fraction of the time like you only need 30 minutes hit 30 minutes of hit. So um, that's basically, and then I, you know, my, in between my meal times, I try to, you know, do my shakes, do breakfast, lunch, shake. After the gym, a shake. If I don't do a shake, I try to eat to replenish my body again. Um, oh, I can't even forget. I forgot, skipped over the routine of taking my Nutriburst. I take my Nutriburst and my CMOS. I take my Nutriburst and my CMOS before I even eat, you know, before I even eat breakfast. Um, most times I take it real quick if I got to go to work 
but if I'm going to work, I might even take my little packs. Um, if I forget to pop my bottle, the little packs right here this is basically like the sample packs that I give out to people, or I take them with me to on a go or when I'm traveling. Um, because a lot of times this bottle kind of spills once the cap is punctured, the safety seal is lifted. So these is good for on the go. And that's like a full good dose, like a full cap worth in that one pouch. So definitely get my um my vitamins in every day. I'll miss a beat with that. Yeah, well, that's good. That's why I need to take some when we finish our interview. <laughs> yeah, you said you take the tablets, right? You take the one of these. I don't take nothing. Oh, I thought you said you said vitamins. Yeah, but I take two more. Days. The gel, the gel. I have the gel. Uh, it's yeah. a, a girl I buy. She 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 put um she milk the well. How she does she do it for it? you? Yeah, she make the um uh, sea moss gel for me, and I okay. put it in the water and stuff. So okay. And, that's good. A lot of people make sea moss. And hers is the Irish sea moss, right? It's like the, okay, she get hers from, because a lot of people don't get authentic sea moss, but they, they'll get it from like, um, you get it from vitamin shops. I think you can even get it from certain supermarkets now. I think you can get it from certain like, or like former markets or organic markets now. It's so, it's so like, widespread and so common huh? I don't know what you get it from but I know I I take it though okay I haven't taken none in a while though unfortunately uh like over it's a while like over a week a few months oh yeah you need to get back on it was you feeling um was it helping you a little bit with your digestive system were you feeling a certain way when you were taking it consistently? I, I, I said I was sleeping better. Sleeping better? Yeah. Okay. I, don't, I, re I rarely sleep. so It yeah. helps like inflammation and mucus in the body and the digestive tract too. It helps you kind of um, break down your foods. Um, and it also has some vitamins and minerals in it too. So that's why a lot of people will take that as well in addition to a multivitamin. My, so, my food mm -hmm. yep and our body need minerals because we don't get minerals and nutrients because we don't really get it from a lot of the foods that we eat and if we are the foods are getting broken down anyway so we're not really absorbing everything that we need from from foods to really thrive and stay healthy so it's always good to take a multivitamin or additional um, health supplement, basically. For the for this year of 2021, what are your goals? Well, I um I already uh, kicked off my waist trainer line. I've been putting it off for a while, um, just because I was trying to get to get get myself together as far as like how I wanted to market it and I wanted to make sure I had my website done, but I didn't have my website done in time. So I just been kind of selling it on hand and I'm going to sell it as well at the pop-up event. Um, I definitely want um, athletic wear as well. So my athletic wear is definitely going to come out by the summer. I'm working on that now um, behind the scenes. Um, since I'm really, really into fitness, um, I definitely want an athletic wear line. So everything is going to be around the brand Hidden Gym. That is my personal brand. Um, Hidden Gym is something that I had my mindset on for like probably about three years now. I started off with like a little small little Instagram boutique where I was just selling some pieces of clothing and jewelry and sunglasses, bathing suits. I saw all those things, but I felt like when I got into TLC, I kind of, it kind of became less passionate about it because I'm like so many people sell these things and um, I didn't really have good marketing skills. So I thought by throwing up an outfit here and there 
you know, was doing something and it wasn't. Um, my sales was very low because um, I just didn't know about marketing. When I got in marketing, I got free game. I got free advice from my coaches who are all successful, um, you know, successful people in their businesses. They all have additional businesses in addition to TLC. Some are in real estate. Some uh, had boutiques, some had stores, some had um, uh, clothing apparel lines, spa businesses, all, anything you can name it, hair, hair shops. Um, they all have the do's and don'ts of business and they will tell you in the heartbeat, you know, what works and what don't. So it's free coaching. Only thing you do is you, you come a part of the company to sell the products and to change your lifestyle. So, and people pay for those services. People pay for them services, a lot of money for them programs to be mentored. Do you have any advice for anyone aspiring to be a business owner? Um, advice, I'm still a work in progress every day. So I would say the best thing is to kind of keep organized, keep a schedule, time management is everything. But even as an aspiring like entrepreneur, I'm not a full-time entrepreneur yet because I'm still very much into the nine to five lifestyle. Um, I'm like more part-time entrepreneur lifestyle right now. I'm not you know, full head on in. Um, Cause if that was the case, I would have quit my nine to five a long time ago. But um, for the most part, it can be a challenge. You never kind of going to master it. It's cause you always going to grow with it every day and grow with your business. Um, but the best advice would be to, um, you know, personal development, personal development portion is for everybody at the end of the day. And, that's kind of like, for me, that's the best thing that TLC could have taught me is taking time out of your day um, to practice personal development, to keep developing your mind, your mindset, strengthening your mindset. So that way you can kind of become unstoppable and the stressors or the hiccups that you're going to face in your journey to being an entrepreneur or to having that um, skill set and to be having that um, nonstop, I'm going to keep going and I'm going to set goals for myself. Um, you, you have that, you have that mental ability, that mental strength and that endurance to keep going. And you're not going to quit on yourself because you have mastered the process of practicing. Well, not mastered, but you have been practicing personal development every day. So somebody comes to you with something negative or they don't per se support you or you feel like you're not doing as well as the next person, that personal development portion will step in and will help you, will motivate you and, and, and keep you keep like to consistently keep going and giving it your all. Um, Cause a lot of times I wanted to quit and I'm like, oh, I'd rather just, you know, clock in and just work for somebody else. But with TLC, even though I work, I will still work and there's a CEO of that company, is that I still have to create my own routine. He's not, you know, the owner is not telling me verbatim or standing over me like you do this, do that. You have to sell this, do that. I have to get out there on the market, talk to people. And I also have to market my stuff online and on the web or through these social media apps like Instagram, Facebook, such, such. But yeah, it's always set goals. Um, that's number one, set goals. Once you attack that one goal, set another one, set another one and, you know, make weekly goals, make monthly goals, then make your, you know, your yearly goals, like as, as you would with a regular person that do resolution, make your yearly goals. Um, but you how you want your, you know, your yearly sales to be or what you want to make or what you aspire to have. You want to own a home by a certain date. You want to do this or you want, I don't know, to expand or you want to have certain amount of team members or you want to drive a new car. You should always have like some type of goal 
physical or, um, you know, whether it being physical or better being financial, have goals. So, yeah, be the number one guy for people. A check, mm -hmm. a, a check, a checklist, basically. Yes, a checklist. Yep, a checklist. Yep, a weekly checklist. So when I get off of this, when I actually got a another like webinar I'm doing, um, actually at about nine. So when I get off of here, I'm going to get dinner ready, and you know, while I'm doing that, once dinner is ready, I'll be ready to jump on another webinar at nine o'clock. Um, there's a lot of training in TLC too. Like, it's no way somebody's coming in and they're not making nothing. It's all about consistency and effort and your routine and how much time you put into your business every week or every day. If you can put an hour to two hours a day, that's great. If you can put in more, that's for more of a person that don't got like a nine to five. Um, but it definitely gotta, you definitely gotta be focused and um, goal oriented with this, with any business, for real, for real. It's not just TLC, but with any business. Cause you know, I still got my own thing that I'm doing and I still wanna drop my activewear you know soon and then i also want to provide other services um for people and i do want to um i do want a, a storage front a small storefront i do want a small storefront at some point later on down the line um but i want to keep growing my audience on instagram um i want to keep serving my customers in my community and then i can you know Get, go into more of the storefront so people can just come in and buy whatever I'm selling, you know, all in one spot and services. Where can the audience find you at? Um, my Instagram is my first and last name. Um, very simple, Sierra Willingham. It's Sierra underscore Willingham on Instagram. Facebook, I have more than one account, but the main one that I use is just under Sierra Willingham. Um, and yeah, those are two, those are the two main ways to reach me through DM yeah. message. Um, I also have my contact. I have my contact button on my Instagram page where my number, you can click right to my number um, from that page that you can kind of text me or message me and get me on the phone. We appreciate you sharing this information with us. And no, no problem. Um, no your problem. journey that you still on. Huh? I said the journey that you still on, hopefully you reach your, your end goal by the oh, end of the year. Okay. Yes, by the end of the year, yes. I definitely want to become a homeowner. I don't own a home, so that's a goal of mine. Um, I also want to dip and dab in other industries, too, as far as, like, getting into real estate a little bit, too. So um, once I master one thing, I'm, I'll head over to the next, but I don't want to be everywhere. But they say most of the streams of income is the best way to become a millionaire. You can't rely on one stream or two streams. The average millionaire got about five or six streams of income. So, yes, definitely a goal of mine to be a millionaire. But I won't have about it in this year. But you know, I give myself in the next. I hope in the next three years, I get to that millionaire status, and I mean consistent millionaire, not just hit a million in in the check-ins. Like you know, consistent basis every year. Million, million, million. Technically, we all had a million already. Mm -hmm. we right. Because all the money we done spent on dumb stuff. Mm -hmm. Revenue, consistent revenue hit a million dollar sales status, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. We are all millionaires. Time just ain't caught up yet. That's what my coach always says. We all millionaires, billionaires. Time just hasn't caught up yet. It's okay. Well, thank you. No problem.
Any other questions for me before I go? No. Okay. All right, no problem.